All right, everybody, what is going on? Welcome back to another video and the final video of the day. Salt Lake Stallions versus the Arizona Hotshots. We're watching the AAF, it's the Alliance of American Football. I'm very excited to, to follow it. This is the fourth game of four in the first week. Um, the games were played probably about three or four days ago. Today's date is Wednesday the 13th of February. And I'm sitting here in Cairns, in Australia, giving my personal critique and opinions as a rugby player to American football. And I am absolutely loving it. Fucking loving it. And I'm not meant to swear. Anyways guys, look, there's no time to lose. If you have been here for all the previous four videos, I want to say thank you. It's probably been you know, a lengthy period of time because I have ranted and raved and talked about all sorts of bullshit in these videos, but I wanted to get it all out there. And uh, I think you know, this video is probably, probably going to be a bit shorter than what, what we have had in the past. So with that said, let's get into it. I promise I'm not going to pause the video at all. Okay? That's my promise to you. Let's get into it. The quicker you here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is... Oh. See, see, the 29 touchdown passes so the kid can sling it. He's picking up, has a man, past the 50. Get him, get him off, yeah. Oh. Oh. Pretty ball. Too bad he couldn't shake the uh, the defender there. Okay. That looks like Arizona uh, Hotshots look like they're playing from Australia. Basically, they, they look like the Australian national team. Green and gold. I could have sworn that was Australia. In fact, I'm going to show you guys. Look at this. Look at this shit. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry, that's lingerie football. Uh, Australian gridiron. Um, no, we don't want lingerie. Okay, all right. So it's green, green and green and yellow. Fair enough. Not quite. This is yellow and green. And I paused the video already. I'm sorry. Cover six, which is quarter and quarter and a half. Look like they're moving now. On pace for the best drive of the game. On Picks up the first down. Steps over the defender inside the 10 yard line before. Seemed a little bit easy. Dragged down by Hanneman. That's bad there, man. <laughs> Tony's yes. doing tempo. We got to remember that. But look, let's, let's look at this. First of all, great job of staying behind your guys, reading your linemen. Love it. Absolutely love it. Yeah. How did he get open? Oh, sorry, I paused it. Fuck. Oh well. Great job of staying behind your guys, reading your linemen. Where is he? He's right here. Or this guy? I'm not sure. No, this one here. Second and goal for Wolford. Wolford passed me right over the end zone. Gerald Christian. It's too easy. This is an old school West Coast concept here. Brad, no extra points in this game, my friends. The two point conversion. That's pretty cool. He said first first uh, first uh, touchdown in Hot Shots history. First points in Hot Shots history. It'd be pretty sweet being the player to score the first points of the first touchdown in your team's history, right? How long are these teams gonna stick around for? Seriously, do you really think it's gonna continue? I guess I guess we're gonna know a lot more after the season. If everyone enjoyed it, why, why wouldn't it be back? If people think it's not to the level that it needs to be, then it might not be. And you've got the XFL coming next year, don't you? Is underway. Wolford hands it off up the middle. Larry Rose. Hang on. So when does the XFL start? I have to know this. Okay, the 10 week inaugural season will be beginning in January or February 2020. Okay, that means that the Super Bowl is going to finish and both the XFL and the AAF are going to be playing in competition with each other. Is that going to work? Is it going to work? I don't know. The third converts 8 nothing. Three professional football leagues in America. Well, at least it gives me, me a better chance, doesn't it? 
that's really all I should be worried about is fucking trying to get in the league myself. Asiata checking into the game. Gets the ball uh -huh. in for the touchdown. That's a, that's a real run there. It is. That's, that's a... Matt Asiata is a guy who did this for the Vikings. Yes, he did. They would take Adrian Peterson out of the game and put him in on goal line situations because of the way he ran the ball and how he ran behind his pads. You see there, he's just running through this. Yeah, nice job, as you said, running behind his pads. There we go. What happened there? It wasn't me. What the hell happened there? I didn't see that. Behind his pads. Okay, so the running back doesn't get it. There we go. Quarterback still got it. And he's going to go on himself. Woodrum keeps it into the conversion. It wasn't me. Either. <laughs> Jeff Locke putting. Not a bad punt. Oh! Fumble oh. on the ground. Looks like the hot shot. Seen a couple of fumbles. I mentioned that earlier the fact that uh, Denore Pearson is going to be substituting. For uh, the number Caitlin Clay, who was out on, was out inactive tonight. Well, these guys so, look like the Lions, don't they? With that uniform, reminds me of Barry Sanders. And he's not been their regular returner, and here we have a big turnover. And Dexter McDougal, Johnny on the spot. You know, special teams catch that. Game, ah, come on. It's, it's, it's plays like this, and you want to have guys back. I said. So first and ten on the thirty-seven. Time for Wolford has a man. Beautiful pass. Nice catch. 36 yard score for Arizona. I mean, Wolford there looks exactly like Drew Brees when he steps into the pocket. He has to look up to be able to see the guy downfield and puts a great ball out there for his receiver Ross to go catch. The other Drew Brees like quality here was by the play call. Mm. As soon as you have a, a turnover, take a just shot. take the shot. That's right. I wouldn't have did that, Coach. I probably ran the ball. Vision so far for the Stallions. Woodrum going to throw. Woodrum in a double coverage. Picked off. Tremendous nice pick. Nelson. Beautiful pick. <laughs> I thought I thought the, the attacker was going to... I thought the receiver was going to get that. I was like, man, that's going to be an amazing touchdown. But no, nah, really, he shouldn't. That should have been picked, and it was. You, you talk about playmaker. Right here, he goes up as, as, as if he's the receiver yeah. to go and make the play. He goes he over and catches the ball. I mean, let's have a look at this. Coach Allen already spoke yesterday about his ability to run and cover. He really felt good about it. You see him trying to stay yeah. straight as he can in nice. the pedal as long as he can. It gives him an opportunity to then turn and seek the football. But we talked about this, Coach, last night about guys that like to play with the 270. <laughs> Lock the holder. To keep About 55 up. yards. 53. It's on the board. Here we go. Big full. Solid kick. Went. There's a lot First attempt for the Stallions. Pick on. Open. Anthony Denham. Big game for the Stallions is Woodruff finds it. Well, Anthony Denham coming back and beating himself a little bit. Well, Coach, the up and down throw. You know, how hard is it for a quarterback to be able to get the ball up and over the linebacker and down before the safety can get there? Yeah. 34 from the set. That trip set over there to the left, and I'll get some kind of combination that way. Roger, get a run. Sorry, I have to go back. I have to go back. I, I heard something there. He said it was an up and down throw. So I guess a, a straight up and down throw is, is, like you said, up above the linebacker and down before the safety gets there, which is interesting. I've never really heard of it be talked about like that. Coming back and beating himself a little bit. Well, Coach, the up and down throw. You know, how hard is it for a quarterback to be able to get the ball up and over the linebacker and down before the safety can get there? Yeah. Well, I assume it would be pretty hard. <laughs> the trip set over there to the left. At right? times. Kind of combination that way. Roger. Is he going to get there? Lost the ball. Lost the ball. Don't know if he was down. Picks up the first down. Two seconds, three seconds. Oh! Oh! Caught. How? A tremendous individual effort by Jordan Leslie goes up and over the DB. <laughs> what a catch. See that again. I believe it was Dargan who was there. Leslie just goes right over the top. 
Great throw, great ball location there. He turned right around, he had to come back to get it, didn't he? Barton gets, out, gets there a little late. What's the defender he doing? In trailing position, he doesn't turn his head to find a Pitch to Oliver. Whoa! No one's stopping you. 1960. Third nine. Wolford. Oh, he's got pace. Go, go, son. And he's no stranger to running the ball. No stranger to running the ball. I like that. Austin Allen out of Arkansas. Third and six here for Linehan. <laughs> what a dart. Tight end Denham. Thank you, Coach. I was going to say it, but you know what? I, I, I gave it to you. I appreciate it. Seven tremendous catch. And what do you know with Sean Ross coming up? One-hander. I don't know what to tell you guys, but you know what? If I'm if I'm Coach Erickson and Coach Donnie Henderson, Is that one hand it was? Not going to listen to me anymore. Let's start double-teaming them you know, and finding a way to make hey! a great route. Nice man. catch. Great adjustment to the ball. I think again. And back in at 10, right back to the line of scrimmage. Step, bang! Oh. Where's your bang off the left, mate? Yeah, from the rims, right? Yeah, tempo, tempo, tempo. If I can get up on the ball and get you to guess where we're going, we're calling the play at the line of scrimmage. Linebacker doesn't sink deep enough. You have your third receiver come. Two wide receivers to the left for Wolford. Looking into the corner of the end zone. That's caught back from Dick Matter or Sean Ross. I, I don't know. This may be on the offense. They, they call push off here, but if not, if they don't, I tell you what, Ross is the guy that is making a name for himself right now. Again, great execution. You see the little Shot, Ross. inside back. Yeah, up. Ross. Great job, bro. Watch. See the thing. See number 88, one on one. Well, they had a safety. Hanneman's a free safety. Wolford going to the right. Easy two-point conversion to Thomas Duarte. Where's he from? Oh, uh, he, he went to you, UCLA. Uh, 14 in 2016, two in Chicago, and 20 with the Redskins. And now it's Linehan again. Pass oh. tipped and pass picked. Man, there's been a lot of picks. Johnson. Just the second series. Not, not just in this game, over the whole the whole league. Yeah, a really nice job there by number 50 run. Edmund Robinson again, who's made some plays this evening, uh, gets up, is able to tip the football right there at the line, mm -hmm. off the line of scrimmage, covering the tight end. You know, he's able to slough back, and then Stevie Johnson comes up with the play. Yeah, well, it's, it's I mean, he was completely outstretched, wasn't it? That was just, that was just good hops, good awareness. There's a good play by the defender. Well done. You say that all the time. Yeah. Checking into the game, quick pass. And game, game of inches, that's what I always come back to. If he missed it, it's like, okay, well if he had have jumped a couple of milliseconds earlier, if he had have had his hand a couple of inches higher, it would have hit. It would have hit. And when they do get the tip, it's like, well, if he had have jumped a couple of seconds slower and not jumped as high, then he would have missed it. It's like, it is a game of inches, isn't it? It's, it's... Two point conversion is good. It's Mulaney. About six minutes for the Stallions. Linehan to the end zone. Back in oh, the end zone. Great. Caught. Nick Truesdale gets nice both catch. feet down. Tight end doing some work for the Stallions tonight. Well, tight ends in the red zone, are, th th those are your go to guys because they have such a big target. You're able to throw the ball up. Well, first of all, great yeah. job identifying it, getting the ball to him high in the back end of the uh, end zone. Ooh. It's, it's, this is literally Good a catch. two score game if he makes this field goal. It'd be down 16. So, again, two touchdowns, two touchdowns, conversions. We have a tie ball game. Yeah. Linehan oh. pressure eludes the side. Oh. He completes the ball. Nice. Oh. Pearson L hauls it in. Great work by Linehan to not only Great work. the pass, but escape the sack as well. Pearson L trying to atone from the fumble punt earlier. This makes mm. a big fourth down conversion. I thought he was throwing it away, but... But this, they weren't able to come back. Oh, tipped. You hear the roar of the crowd there. Locke lucky to get that one off. A fair catch is made. And was it tipped? That was a huge punt. They weren't... From 25. Able to come back okay, it wasn't clipped. He was clipped. 
hear the roar of the crowd there. Lachlan. That's 60 yards on the fall. Get that one off. A fair catch is made, and there's going to be a penalty. He's, he's down. He's selling it. He's selling it, is he? What happened? Part of the job. It is. Yeah, number. That uh, looks like it was Anderson. Oh, Chris Anderson. Anderson tries to pull off. Look how high his leg gets. It's a ground in Salt Lake. Yeah, they're going to play up at you know uh, Rice Echo Stadium there, University of Utah yep. campus. So uh, you know the elements could play a factor in this, yes. like we said earlier. The elevation of Salt Lake, the dryness here. The clock is winding down. The first ah. ever game between the Arizona Hotshots and the Salt Lake Stallions. Dennis Erickson hugging it out. He's been around so long, I'm sure he knows almost everybody on this football field. But it's a big win for Rick Neuheisel and his Hotshots, who definitely look like one of the more impressive teams. Well, well, there you go. There you go, guys. That's it. It's done. But I do want to just quickly find out um, the AAF squad numbers. I want to know how many players are on a team. I want to know how many players are on a team. Alliance of American Football. Let's have a look. Probably should have done this at the start. Um, okay. On July 30th last year, the Alliance announced the league had signed 100 players. In August, the league held the Alliance Scouting Combine three locations and four dates. Los Angeles, Houston, and Atlanta. And by August 24th, which is less than a month later, they had 205 players signed. These dates provided an opportunity for players cut at the NFL roster deadline and each player signed a three-year contract with 250,000 with performance-based fan direction. Okay, so 250,000. They're getting paid 250,000 for three years. It's an average salary, isn't it? It's $80,000. Maybe I could make it. 250,000 over three years. Really? The AAF began its inaugural 10-week season on February 9th, 2019. The first points in AAF regular season history were scored by kicker Yong Ho Koo of the Atlanta Legends. Yep, yeah, I'm supporting the Legends this year, by the way, who made a 38 yard field goal against the Orlando Apollos. So the Atlanta Legends scored the first points in all of AAF history, yet they got beaten 40 to 6 in that game. That's, that's unfortunate. The last thing I'll do is look at Young Ho Koo because he is the kicker for my team. He was born in 1994. He is 24 years old. He's 5 foot 9. And he went to Georgia College and he played for the Chargers in 2017. And now he's at the Legends 2019. So he has played in the NFL. Okay, I'll give him credit for that. Okay, okay. You can take that one. He signed with the Chargers as an undrafted free agent following the 2017 NFL Draft. He won the starting job over incumbent kicker Josh Lambeau following the conclusion of the preseason. Ku became the fourth player in NFL history to be born in South Korea. Now, I did mention in the previous video that I had not seen an Asian player. I just hadn't. It's kind of like in rugby, or rugby in New Zealand anyway. You, you just don't see it. I don't know why. I, I, I think, but there you go. We've got Ku. As, but anyway, uh, this is not a politics-based uh, channel. This is not a race or religion-based channel. This is a fun-based channel. And we're having a lot of fun watching the inaugural season of AAF. So if you want to stick around, if you have enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you want to subscribe, even better. Even better or even better? Even better. And um, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, everybody. Have a great day.